Let's proceed with another factor. Blending is your soap business backbone. If you think blending is as simple as picking a few colors, a pretty graphic you like, and slapping it all together, I have news for you. Blending is so, so much more than that. And without strong blending, you will struggle when starting a soap company. Your blend should guide every action and decision you make in business. Is it right for your business to develop this new product? Is it right for your business to do that craft show? Is it right for your business to be on the shiny new social media network? When you have a solid brand and target market, these questions become a cakewalk. If you compete on price alone, you will never own a sustainable and profitable business. My local people, singa, otani kukwanyi siganya kumuendo weka. The biggest mistake I see with soap makers that I have engaged with is either pricing their products in such a way that they feel is affordable or in line with an imaginary market. The problem with this is that many, many soap companies operating through their own sites or their venues are creating their pricing on what someone else is doing. This means the market price continues to nose dive to the point that no soap company who tries to compete on price will ever make a profit. Let me give you an example of my own experience. A few years ago, I set up a soap company at a local market for my sibling in Kapeka and found that I was sitting in any maker's nightmare. They had assigned both so that all similar products were next to each other. I was surrounded by four other soap makers. Each soap makers around me checked out each other's pricing and then set show specials to compete on price. Except for me, I stuck to my guns on my pricing or selling my one keg white bar of soap for Ugandan shillings 5,500 and up. At the end of the day, every other soap maker I spoke to reported barely breaking even on the show and walked away disappointed. Since I didn't lower my pricing thereby avoiding diminishing the perceived value and quality of the products, I walked away with a healthy profit and a sunny disposition. If you want to learn a successful soap company, you absolutely must turn a healthy profit or you will not be able to afford to stay in business. So why not plan for profit from the moment you start a soap business? Why? 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 There is market for everything. The biggest argument I get in regards to charging decent prices that net a profit is that the market can't bear it. And that is a big or fat lie. The only time the market won't bear a price that is fair to you and your business is when you aren't going after the right market or specific market at all.